What's up everybody, this is Lord Snoot and welcome back to the next installment of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode and you join me cooking up some capacitors because we have a cunning plan. They're just finished. We've got some more fluid cows on the go. And why is there a creeper showing on my minimap? That's a bit worrying. Where are you? In there? It is in there. That's how we deal with him, but where did he come from is more worrying. If anyone sees a yellow cross, shout out. Because I cannot. There. Man, that was lucky, because that could have been disastrous. Anyway, problem solved. Yeah, fluid cows. We now have... Gasoline, diesel, and LPG, which is liquid petroleum, something along those lines. I seem to have misplaced my bucket. There it is. So yeah, the diesel cow is quite an interesting one because on milking the diesel cow and running over to our smeltery, there's some more yellow crosses. If we put diesel in, and by diesel it should be gasoline, but in it, it just fuel. Hmm. Gasoline. That was a waste of a trip. A bit of a derp there. Hey ho. Stick that in there for now. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I am confused. Maybe it was gasoline. Anyway, you get instant smelt out of the smeltery, which is rather nice. There we go, so it's gasoline. So any ores in there, we get an instant smelt, and I have been cooking up some gold and electrum. Because what we want to be doing is working on a rancher. This bad boy right here, because this automatically... Does it say here? No. Automatically milks, in inverted commas, the cows. So I want to be able to use that to keep that smeltery constantly full of the fuel. But to do so, we're going to need a slice and splice. So we need the, this is solarium heads. It's all stuff we've got, but we've just not got around to making yet. So we're going to need some machine frames to make these machines. Which, if I remember, I'm hoping we can do quite a few because... For sure we're gonna need them. Steel like so. We go around the outside. There we go. So that's getting us well on the way. So while they're doing five solarium, a head, shears, and an axe. Now I have already made the shears and axe. Can I stick them in there? Nope. There they are. And the head, well we've got more zombie heads than anything else, just looking at it, yeah. Uh, and five. Hello. Welcome to the party. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go and make sure the rest of that is lit up. Now then, is that made on the QED? It is. Okay, no problem. So we've got five solarium, like so, a head, a machine frame. Voila, there is our slice and splice, so let's go, oh, we've got a quest for that, and we are getting real close to having to rearrange ourselves again, but for right now that can live there, filling up nicely with energy, so we're going to need shears and an axe in there, more shears. So, three sets of shears and an, and an axe. We're going to have to address that. Let's go and do that now. So, yeah, this is the agri-craft. Where I've been working on the agri-craft. I didn't realise mobs could spawn there. So, we've got all these at 10, 10, 10. Diamond, lavender, redstone, gold. 
get rid of all that garbage. And the other thing I want to do is get a harvester on here, which is constantly going to be harvesting, spitting out, probably putting in a compacting drawer and making us all of the gems. Now then, I've lost my train of thought. What were we doing? We've got the slice and slice. That's right, we we're making an axe, which I think we'll make out of steel because I think they have... The iron axes have durability. Now oh, then, I can't make one in there. So, for now, we'll just go vanilla because we only need one. And then it was three sets of shears we're going to need. I think I noticed some electrical steel. Two bits of plastic and a fluid conduit. We only have one plastic. We do have the fluid conduit. So the plastic is raw plastic, which is the rubber cooked down. Now then, I am sure somewhere we have more of this stuff. I can't see it, so I'll just quickly cook some of that down. Uh, <clears throat> this isn't on the QED, so that's nice and straightforward. How much have we got? That should be enough. So we'll swap that out. Okay, there we go. So, a rancher. Still need the slice and splice. So we need two silicon, redstone, more solarium, uh, another head. Run redstone, two silicon, more solarium, and another mob head. Got a skeleton this time. Uh, I think this one's actually specified as being a zombie. Over to the slice and splice. We put our tools in and then we put our materials in. Yeah, so that's used up the uh, iron axe. So we're going to need to think of a better solution for that. However, we do have our Z logic controller, zombie logic. There is our rancher. So we're rocking and rolling. Now then, power for the rancher is going to be one thing. Because we're going to have it over here. So we need to be thinking about how to make power over there. So I think what we will do. Is make a couple of those. So three, three and three. Nice and straight. What's the other one? Yeah, we're not at that point yet. So we've got that. We've got that. And we've got that. How many can we make? Well, we don't need that many. That should do. We can always make more if we need them. And we're rattling through quests here. I'm going to need some power conduit. Which is in short supply. We use this one again. It isn't that recipe, is it? We need the right. Just use that. So the rancher is going to. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Well, it's going to ranch one of those cows. So I'm probably going to have to move the smeltery over here would make sense next to where we've got the cows or we could move the cow obviously maybe that's easier and we want to be pumping it straight into there so we need the gasoline cow now then
I think we're at a point where we can move this stuff Let's go and get some dirt. We'll tidy this little area up together. Bum, bum, bum. And then we're going to want to get another machine to start harvesting those um, agri-craft plants. So I need to think about that. I'll probably do that off camera, but at least this will get us to a point. So I think if we put our cow here, we can ranch rancher it and send the fluid over the top and into here that makes it sense in my head um, so we want the rancher like so wrong way around typical like third time's a charm like so then we will put our Power conduits. We can always add to those if we feel the need to. That should keep it powered up. There we are. So it's gaining energy and it's now idle, but when that gets to the bottom it will try and ranch whatever is in front of it so we will make our cow come over here with our soul vial where's our soul vials don't tell me I've lost them Who's done what with our soul vials? There's a thief. We have a thief in our midst. Okay, looks like we're going to have to make some more. Three of you and one of you. And they're going to turn up just when I finish this, I have no doubt. There's our soul vial. We're going to want some cobble walls. like so get rid of that get rid of that grab our cow come with me I think this has got a 3x3 three three range to start with before we put any upgrades in it. So our cow is going to go there. Have a lovely life, Mr. Cow. This should now start Well, we need, maybe need to wait for those ticks to come down, but do we put that in? Is the other question. We are going to need a drum, and we're probably going to need one of these. Four dark iron, four tungsten, and a glass. There's our glass. Four dark iron. Four tungsten. on the QED always whichever time I think I've got it I always get it wrong never mind you come with me <coughs> what's this doing at the moment 
So this is going to go here. I'll have to move this torch. And this is going to be pulling from that side. Pushing to that side. Which is where we will put our drum. Hmm. We only want it pulling. Let's see what happens. We might need another bucket for that. Judging by the way that's looking. Let's go and grab another bucket. What's going on? I don't know where all those pieces have just come from, but there you go. If I put another one in there... Hmm... Well, it's nearly at the end of its cooldown, so let's see what happens. And we're also going to need to pipe this into there, but that's easy. We'll do that in a minute. So right at the end of its cooldown, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So it's on zero. So we are now ready to milk, if you like. We've got it, and it's put it into here, and pushed it into there, without the buckets. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. So now we will take from the bucket and pump it into the tank. For that we're going to use... I suppose we can just use these cheap ones for that. Not really in a rush for this because it should milk the cow a lot faster than we're using the diesel. Particularly when we've got that buffer of gasoline. So we want to insert there. Extract there. That's surplus to requirements. Now then, why is it going? Because we've got this connection here. Actually pumping it into the drain, which we don't want. So we'll extract that back out of the... Mm. Smeltery. No. Won't we? Because <sighs> it's got nowhere to go. No. Insert into the barrel. Let's suck it all out. And start again. No. Hmm, looks like something got a bit confused here. So I'll be right back once I've sorted this out. Looks like it's a config thing. One second. Okay, everybody, welcome back. And I think we are all set. I think that what we saw in, the, in there was actually just a visual glitch. So I went and made myself a uh, Yetta wrench so I could just 
tidy this up a little and sure enough we now have gasoline coming from our friend the cow into this barrel by this little setup and then topping up our oars so making sure that wasn't full so that is now uber smelting which i will grab some ore and show you so in here let's grab a load of iron never gonna run out of a requirement for iron so we'll stick it in our very crudely automated and you can see how quick it cracks through so we're actually mm -hmm. going to run out of that's now going to be where we're lagging but not to worry so that's that done that's one of the missions for today the other one we wanted to look at after we've claimed these quests why does it want to go soul binders yeah, the other thing I wanted to look at was a way of gathering the XP from this. You see it floating around. And I believe that will gather it in. That looks relatively straight. So two solarium, four magic wood, and glowstonic steel. If if this doesn't work, it, at the very least, it's going to be good for holding our XP. Not on the QED. Oh, everything's on the QED, so I'll probably have to ramp this <coughs> speed up. Excuse me. So we're going to need some more soul sand and gold. And the alloy smelter, because we've run out of whatever that stuff's called soul sand while we're waiting a greater reward by Ooh. what do we get a green heart and some more heart glass all the hearts so that goes into giving us one extra heart but we can't use it just yet nevertheless very nice that should be enough for our next item. Which is going to need another one of these machine frames. You see now why I make all these machine frames. Did I leave that in here? I did. There is our XP obelisk. So I think we can set this down and certainly store our XP in it. We are going to need something to suck the XP in. This is full, that's what's going on. Wow. What have we got stuck? There, that must be full, that. Let's have a look. Do we need to put a... Yeah, 32. So we need to put an upgrade on there. That's no big deal. I can do that. <coughs> but yeah, maybe we're going to need a vacuum hopper just to pull the XP in. So let's have a look what the cost of a vacuum hopper is. These, are, I don't know if anyone's noticed these little nuggets. This is what's coming off the, uh, the Agricraft farm at the top. So, vac spelling fail on camera. There we go, vacuum hopper. So that is iron. What's this? Pulsating iron. Have we got much of that? We have, and we've got the diamond. Seven iron and a chest. Have we got any chests left? We haven't. No. 
now we have vacuum hopper all right so that i believe does pull xp in so what we shall do is we'll go up here vacuum hopper there vacuum chest pulls nearby and then I think we put this on the front of it and set this to pull that I believe will suck up the experience and stick it in that obelisk for us so that should be a nice little XP farm now as well which is a great stuff so we are quick running out of more room I can tell you that And there's us. I knew I'd made them. There they are. Look, soul vials. Typical. So yeah, the next thing we're going to be wanting is a harvester. So basically the same as before, for which we are going to need some more. Do we need more plastic? No, we don't. Two dark steel axes. like so plastic shield one of those machine frames two plastic shears two gold and a z logic which is two solarium two silicon and a head and we need another iron axe don't we for that no oh, I always do I knew that that would happen definitely at some point during this playthrough now they've got 1565 durability so it probably worth me making one of those for the this is logic in the future, but I don't know if you notice, I only have two ingots of that left, so that'll be something I sort out off camera. Voila! Z logic. That isn't on the QED, so that's nice. Thank you kindly. We have energy conduits. We will make another three of the solar panels. And this, oh, and we also need one of these void fluid pipes because when you're using a harvester, it actually uh, fills up with sludge so we don't want to get any of that so that is our power sorted and already you can see it's harvested so can we stick this on the side that gets rid of the sludge and then we'll just stick a chest at the back to gather up all the redstone. So now we have an infinite constant supply of redstone. And you can see how fast it's coming in, so that is groovy. So think what we'll do. Have we got any of those bins left first? That might be a good place to start storing it if we can. Not seeing one. Is 
let's see if we can stick it straight into one of these machine is stuffed of items so no we can't that's a shame but can we use a conduit to stick it in the bin and if so which side do we have to stick it on so conduit whoop. like so extract always into this bin there we go there's our redstone supply so this can hold plenty advanced spell check advanced bin for mechanism is not coming to me immediately there it is 8192 items okay let's hope that is stacks but if not we'll address it later but right now that's going to be sufficient so what I'll probably do is either make an upgrade for that harvester and make it harvest everything. Interesting. Doesn't connect anyway. So we're going to have to stick it in a set of storage drawers. So I will be moving. Whoops. moving this to probably here with a three upgrade or three range upgrade or something but anyway i'll do that off screen so thank you ever so much for joining me it looks like we are getting there with our infinite resources which is groovy and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time cheerio